There are currently some 130 geothermal power stations operating in Europe, a 5% increase compared to 2019, and the number could double in the next five to eight years. But how do we ensure they become safer, more reliable, more efficient, more environmentally friendly? European scientists have designed and developed new technologies that are currently being tested in Iceland. Nesialetiv Geothermal Power Station is the second biggest in Iceland. It produces around 120 megawatts of electrical power. Drilling operations are often underway to find new sources deep underground. Temperatures can reach 460 degrees Celsius down there. It's a tough, demanding environment for drilling. The problem in geothermal in general is that you are dealing with a lot of heat. And when you need to maintain wells, sometimes you need to cool down the wells, and that will uh, eventually destroy the casing because of the expansion. Fully automated, the rig is testing new technology to try to minimize the risks, reduce maintenance costs, and increase the efficiency of the drilling operations. Technology was developed by scientists as part of a European research project coordinated from this institute in Reykjavik. The objective was to redesign flexible couplings to allow thermal expansion and minimize the risk of them buckling. When we have the pipes connecting into the connector, normally it's fixed. But in the flexible coupling, it is allowing the pipe to expand into the coupling. It means that we take away the stress in it. And when we cool down the well again, Actually, we can allow it to open up again. Materials were carefully tested and verified to assess the likelihood of the long lifetime required for the newly developed design. Standards within the drilling industry are set very high as far as safety and reliability are concerned. For a typical uh, geothermal power plant, the drilling cost can be up to between 30 and 35 percent of the total cost. So, and the drilling uh, industry is using uh, well-known, uh, proven technology. So I don't think it is easy to, to uh, convince them to try something that is new. Researchers say this innovation could be especially promising for new geothermal installations on mainland Europe, where, unlike Iceland, the potential resources are to be found at much greater depths. And you have high temperature fields in Europe, you have it in Italy, you have it in Greece, you have it in Turkey, you have it in Asura, in the Portuguese islands. It takes deeper wells, longer casing segments, and that means that you have more problems with the wells than you have probably in our case. If you have the flexible couplings with the wells in Iceland, they only go two kilometers, but in Europe you have to go five, six kilometers perhaps. Drilling operators say that such innovative technologies could eventually help them become more cost efficient. It saves money in the operation. The operational cost will be less. The lifespan of the well will be longer. That's the uh, main advantages. Researchers project that the cost efficiency could be passed on to consumers. Reduced maintenance costs should lead to reduced energy bills in the longer term.